Okay. We are back now again with Mega Man X3. This is pretty much the conclusion of this entire thing. And I still can't believe just how annoying this game is. And I still find it a bother. Nice. Made it all the way to the other end, but now I gotta deal with this. I only made it. Yeah, Doppler's lab is not a laughing matter. And it just isn't. Especially considering you're about to fight tr you're about to face trouble. Oh look, guess who decides to drop by today, huh? X, I've come to help you. I'll stop the collapsing ceiling. You destroy that junk robot. Sure. And he wasn't really that difficult to deal with. X, there is an army of powerful mavericks in Dr. Doppler's lab. They've been modified by Dr. Doppler into war machines. Be careful. I'll watch my step. Thanks, Zero. I'm going to scout it around. I'll catch up later. You're always of good help, Zero. Cheers. I gotta find a way to get my life, get my health back up. Ugh. One. There you go. Dodge that. Avoid it. And right here. For this to actually work, you need to be at full health for this. Enter this capsule, X. Install this chip to enhance all your parts. The situation should now be improved. Good luck, X. If you didn't get any of the special chips, this will give you the upgrade that will let you have all of them. In turn, transforming your entire armor into the gold armor. Always believe in one soul. That's the, well, achievement you can get. Nice. At least now with this, my journey can be a bit easier. Yep, with this you now have access to the double air dash, instant health regeneration, and improved shield, etc. All these enhancements will help you out considerably against this. This can only be unlocked if you have defeated Bit and fight with their weaknesses. Just whatever you do, watch out for that thing. That thing's gonna be spewing out. Well, yeah, acid. And that metal claw that will be used to grab you. Well, we're actually one fine for us. Yeah, and if and for whatever reason this happens, it only makes the challenge a lot harder. But with what I've with what you have up your sleeves, you should manage. Plus the enhanced the extended shield will protect you. 
truth is, you should get that gold armor. There you go. That's it. Its weakness is the Ray Splasher. That takes care of that. One level down. A lot more to go. This time I'm making sure I save. Alright, we move on to stage two. And things are about to get a little more difficult. At least we don't have to worry about getting full health. I wish this gives us a chance to grind to get more health. Yeah, because the rest of the game from here on out is merciless. I believe this is what happens when Capcom was like outsourcing this game to another to another company. Do I blame them? Not really. Does this make the game any harder? Not exactly. Ugh. All right, fine. Let me get the Triad Thunder. Good. And at full power. Yeah, looks like Doppler enhanced those bots and also made them more dangerous. And no, we're not going to need the right armors for this. And yeah, the double air dash has its advantages. Having two air dashes instead of one helps big time. Ah, oh, jeez. I always hated those things. Guess I don't have a choice, do we? But we're about to get some added help. Zero. But we gotta be careful with him. This is the only time we'll be using him, and we need him for this. What for? To get another thing that X will be needing for the rest of the journey. Yeah, we gotta keep moving, no matter what. Don't just... Yeah, you gotta watch out, because it's gonna strike without warning and without mercy. And then once you beat him, this happens. Pretty much the monster decides to do the old If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me thing. And you also notice as well is that the Z ends up going from red to blue. What was that explosion? Zero, are you okay? Sorry, X. I failed. It seems my power generator is damaged. I'll try and make it back to Dr. Kane's lab for repairs. You can't tell what is waiting for you, X. You better take my beam saber with you. Crush them all, X. You're our last hope. He wanted you to have this. We get the Hunter Medal for that. Now watch. You charge up all the way until your blaster turns green, and then this happens. X, ha zero, X has access to zero saber, which, if used, you can pretty much wipe away anything that gets in the way. Allow me to demonstrate. Wait for it. Yeah, slice and dice. It'll do, ex it'll do like extra damage, which is actually, in my honest opinion, the coolest thing ever. And plus, this is also useful against enemies who are dumb and stupid enough to get in the way, like that. That's what makes it. That was makes it really cool. It changes from an orange charge to a green charge. And for whatever reason, you get hit while you're trying to do the attack. The charge is canceled. So keep this in mind. Yeah, see what I mean? Nice. 
And all we gotta do is take the long road up. But you could also use this to your advantage to, like, pretty much speed up your recovery. Yeah, like I did. This is also a good opportunity to show off X's health recovery tactic. If you're standing still and not doing anything, your order, armor will automatically heal itself. And you better make sure you don't land on the spikes. Otherwise, you're done for. What can you do? It is now with this, you have the armor. I wonder why they decided not to give me health upgrades that or that soon. Why? Stop regenerating. And yeah, the slash that it unleashes is a powerful slash wave. Compared to the one that he would eventually get in Mega Man X6. Nice. Now we gotta keep on going up. It's a long climb, but what can you do? If we had the chameleon sting, we would have just you charged it up and then used it to get up there. And yeah, it's an annoying climb. One of the more tiring parts of this game. Much better. Are you serious? Just because of one mistake on a stupid air dash and I fall all the way down. Yeah, I know it sucks, but what can you do? Now we got away. And these enemies just don't know when to give. They just come out endless. At least now that I have the gold armor with the beam saber, this will make the journey a lot more easier. Or not. Yo, stop pestering me, you freaks. Good. Yeah, it's boss time. But I may as well show you the power of the Z Saber at work. You're gonna be seeing it happen for the rest of the game. Although that sound effect does get ear grating. Yeah, see that? It deals half damage, while the slash itself deals like three times. To let you know, this boss's weakness is the Triad Thunder. And, if, like I said already, if you get hit by it, the entire thing cancels out. Okay, you know what? I'll save my demonstration for when I take on the Mavericks themselves. If, if you didn't defeat Bile, you would end up fighting him in his new rod armor, the Goliath. I'll have an extra video where I show that off.
That did it. Now we move on to stage three. Whoa, this is a surprising change. Yep, this means we're about to have our rematch with the robot map with the Mavericks. With another fight at the end. Yeah, you can use this to pretty much refill your health. But me personally, we're just gonna take the fight to each of them one by one. First is Blizzard Buffalo. Don't worry, watch this. Sea Saber and deals like it deals like a frontal damage, but then follows it up with some heavier damage. Oh great. Yeah, but now doesn't hurt as bad. Blizzard Buffalo's weakness is in fact the parasitic bomb, the weapon you get from Blast Hornet. Every time after you beat a Maverick, you can go back here to stock up. Sea toxic seahorse, huh? And you gotta watch out for its acid. Yep, that's how dangerous it is. And you also get to see a super attack. It's like evolved power, if you would say. Well, that's another down the drain. And I think I may plan on not using the Splitting Blade in the final boss. Zero's out of action. Not much else we can do. Next on the list. Neon Tiger. You're the one who gave me a heck of a nightmare, dude. Yeah, now you know what it's like to get hurt. Yeah, it's nothing. And yeah, there is this chance that he can actually block your attack. Yeah, he actually does block the Z-Saber strike. That's actually, that's actually dumb and nuts. Get wrecked. You were a lot of trouble when I tried to get your weapon. I had to do it so that way I could actually beat them without the need of, well, taking the alternate path around. What can you do? All right, next up on the list. Ah, oh, this guy. Yeah, that's the power it has. And he actually back pedals back? Nah, you're B crush crawfish. Oh, that's three Mavericks down. Well, at least they're getting now to be a bit more generous. 
Who's next? Tunnel Rhino. He won't be that bad. Yeah, that's a super powered state. And watch out for when he launches the tornado fence. We actually get to see that in ha action, but when I first took him down, he wasn't that difficult. It was all just a matter of prediction. At least that's something, right? And there's actually this chance you can actually get an extra life out of it. Now, that's a rare chance if I've ever seen that. Gravity Beetle. Boomer Kuanger's brother. Yeah, he starts off lobbing one of them, but he eventually is going to be throwing more than one. See what I mean? And that's the power of what the gravity hole can do. Sally will not make much of a difference. And so much for that gravity well he has doesn't do much. Now I can focus on trying to at least get some more health in. Yeah, if you use his e saber on it, you get an extra life. That's generosity if I haven't seen it. Volt Catfish. Yep, and launches the temple. That. Yeah, he does a whole lot of evil stuff now. Too bad you end up getting struck while in the air. At least with those extra lives, that could actually prove to be advantageous. Ah. Now I, got, I gotta actually not take too long. Yeah, now we're moving on to the last one. Blast Hornet. And Blast Hornet, in my opinion, is most annoying. Yeah, he actually can sting you with that thing. And he actually moves in a figure eight pattern. What a thunk. Yeah, got him. Hornet's down for the count. Mavericks dealt with. Now a real fight begins against Doppler himself. Thanks for the generosity.
Now we face him. I've been waiting for you, X. I am Dr. Doppler. I've been watching your battles closely. Your victories over my men have been most impressive. I need superior reproids like yourself, X. I offer you the chance to join us. Together we shall build a utopia where the reproids rule under the watchful eyes of Sigma, our lord and master. No way, Doc. Your schemes end here and now. Perhaps you are not as smart as I once thought. Prepare to be ripped apart and to be born again as part of the new body of Sigma. He really wasn't kidding with that. He also has a shield that lets him, well, absorb damage and he, yeah, like that, so he can regain health real fast. Yeah, whenever he does that, just don't attack him. Yeah, this could be actually a very big situation. That's not good. Well, there is actually a way you can actually deal damage to Doppler since you can't strike him from the front. Like that. That's how you have to do it. And that should wipe you out. Nothing personal, Doc, but you have to be beat. You are strong, X. Strong enough to defeat Sigma. Doppler, can you talk? Sigma's true form is that of a computer virus. I was corrupted by him and... I created a horrific new body for him. Where's the body now? It's in the underground hangar of this lab. I don't think Sigma has occupied it yet. Don't worry about me. Destroy the body before it is too late. Time is running out. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, that boss fight can be rather bothersome at least. And now only one area left. Let's get it finished. Sigma must really be this desperate to get a new body if he needs to threaten everyone around us. Guy is a fool. The end is already here. Now normally I would use it, but here's the thing. Where's the fun in playing fair if your enemies are not? Trust me. We meet again, X. It was easy to corrupt that fool Doppler. And I would have succeeded if you hadn't interfered. But we are always destined to meet, aren't we, X? Let the eternal struggle begin. Let's go. Yeah, Sigma has a pretty predictable strategy. He will fire six shots. Down, up, straight, down, up, straight. And he can also throw a shield around. Just make sure you don't get whacked by his shield thing. And I'm in trouble if I don't do something fast. Really? I get wrecked by this guy? Sheesh. 
his weak... And you know what? Maybe I shouldn't use Aziz, try to use Aziz Saber on him. I'll try a different approach. And it also doesn't help that these enemies are the last line of defense that Sigma's got. Fine. Guess I'll have to do it the hard way with the spinning blade. As unfair as this is, I may as well. Let's do it. We meet again, X. It was easy to corrupt that fool Doppler. And I would have succeeded if you hadn't interfered. But we are always destined to meet, aren't we, X? Let the eternal struggle begin. Yeah, Sigma has actually a shield. Yeah, his weakness is the spinning blade. Well, I guess that doesn't work. Yup, I'm gonna get wrecked again, am I? Jump, dog, slash, jump, dog, slash. Jump, dog, slash. Yeah, I figured out most of his pattern. But this guy's still annoying. Yeah, this place gives you very little health. So if you haven't stocked and prepared, you're gonna pretty much be in deep trouble. And I'm down to two lives left. Here we go. We meet again, X. It was easy to corrupt that full Doppler. And I would have succeeded if you hadn't interfered. But we are always destined to meet, aren't we, X? Let the eternal struggle begin. Yeah, Sigma is just without a doubt annoying. Extremely annoying. Sadly, the Z Saber makes him into mincemeat. Compared to other versions, he's actually the most hardest. Hands down. That's why the Z Saber is a necessity. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Well done, X. But I'm far stronger than my previous forms. Behold the power of the ultimate battle body. Kaiser Sigma. And yeah, Kaiser Sigma is without a doubt the hardest opponent you will ever face. And yeah, he's just a blava. Now you gotta watch out for the missiles it fires, but also everything else. He summons mines. And it only takes his two charge Z Saber strikes to beat him. Because no other weapon can take him down. And it's over. Right? It's 
Sometimes I gotta be cheek to get the job done. No, it can't be. I can't even defeat you with this magnificent body! There seems to be only one choice now. I'll possess you. One choice, and that is possess me? You're off your rocker, Sigma! Yeah, I still can't understand why Sigma has a smug look on his face. Yeah, he, Sigma is gonna let us out that easily. And here comes the crew of the matter! No way out. Damn! It's a dead end! <laughs> Give up, X. I'll possess your body and rule the whole world! Ah, your Doppler! How did you obtain this? How do you feel now, Sigma? Did you like my special vaccine for the Sigma virus? X, I'm sorry to have given you so much trouble. I know I can never really atone for what I have done. But I will try to set things right by taking Sigma with me. My program is fading. X, it's time to say goodbye. X has crushed Sigma's plan once again, but many questions still occupy his mind. Why must humans fight against Reploids? And why must Reploids fight against each other? As X stares at the burning remnants of Doppler's lab, his body trembles from an unknown sorrow. What does fate have in store for me, he wonders. He can only hope that someday, Dr. Light's plan for him will finally be revealed. Unknown to X, his destiny has already been decided. To save mankind, he must destroy Zero. But only time will tell when and why. Was this pretty much an omen? An omen for what would yet to come in the later games? So yeah, that's Mega Man X3 in a nutshell. X3 compared to X1 and X2 is actually the hardest of the X games. It's the hardest hands down because let's just say Capcom decided that for whatever the reason they decided to outsource the game to another company. Why they did this I will never know. I don't even know the answer for sure. 
But what I am going to say is that, yeah, this is probably one game I may not go back to. Mostly because of the fact that it's actually a lot harder. Not to mention it's actually one of the few games where you can actually upgrade yourself even further. Which you can tell by the gold armor that X is wearing right now. Yeah, that's the result. And the fact that you get, like, an altered ending. Well, it's not really much of an altered ending, it's just, depending on what you do, changes how it ends. So pretty much this is the result of one such ending. Or in the case if you plan on doing a 100% completion run, there you go. Will I ever plan on going back to it? Maybe, maybe not. But a game like this was hard, and it was probably around the time that Capcom was pretty much hard at work. They were hard at work making 3D games for the Sony PlayStation. And we wouldn't get another Mega Man X game for the next two years. So yeah, next time, I will be starting Mega Man X4. But how I'm gonna do it is pretty simple. There's actually going to be two runs. One for X, one for Zero. And it will also include a little something at the end as sort of an extra. There will be an extra video for Mega Man X3, but it mostly will just show what happens at the end and what changes, like the boss fights you battle. But other than that, it's not really much. Though the only difference is that if you do not destroy Bit, Bite, and Bob with their weaknesses, you won't be able to get the Z-Saber. That's pretty much all there is in a nutshell. But yeah, that is pretty much going to be it for my run of Mega Man X3. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said already, next time we'll be moving on to Mega Man X4. And that one's going to be a fun one, I tell you that. And I'm doing the English version, not the Japanese one, because if I did the Japanese one, you guys wouldn't understand it. But if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click the bell. Doing all of this helps me out big time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. See you in X4.